Hi, my name is Colin Wood. Um, I did my speech over Vincent Willem Van Gogh. He was born uh, March 30th in 1853, and he was a famous Dutch post-impressionist painter. His work had very high influence on the 20th century art. Most of his work included portraits, landscapes, and uh, fields and flowers, but mostly portraits of himself, actually. Most of his famous work was done uh, later on towards the end of his life. He produced over 2,100 pieces of art in his life. He grew up working for a firm of art dealers. Uh, he did a lot of traveling through most of Europe as a very religious man, uh, being born into an upper-class family. His life mission was to become a pastor, actually, which led him to his next job as a missionary for a mining company in Belgium. That's where he produced his first famous uh, piece of art, which was the Potato Eaters. Uh, he then moved to Paris and then moved again south of France. You'll find out through um, this speech that he moved a lot when he was younger and into his older age. Um, in Paris, or in south of France, uh, it's where he met the biggest influence was found. Uh, he found beautiful and strong sunlight there. This was in 1888. Um, but let's take our focus back to his early life. As a child, uh, Vincent van Gogh was a silent, keep to himself kind of kid. Uh, he was born in a village close to Breda which is in the, Nether the Netherlands. Uh, he out outlived all of his siblings. Uh, Vincent was given the name uh, from his grandfather, actually. Art was in his blood. Uh, his grandfather's also named Vincent, had six sons. Three of them became very good art dealers. Uh, bear with me here as I track down uh, his family tree. His uh, grandfather's uncle, also named Vincent, um, was a very successful sculptor in the 1700s. Uh, keep in mind, Van Gogh's dad, Theo, was a minister of the Dutch Reformed Church. So art and religion was the uh, was the, the whole family was into it. Uh, sort of like a family business, if you may. Uh, back to Van Gogh. He attended Zender Village School in 1860. And uh, 1864, he went to a boarding school in the town of Zevenbergen. He hated being away from his family. After moving from school to school, from job to job, he was taught many, uh, or he ended up at a new school in Tilburg. Uh, at that school, he was taught in uh, many different varieties of art uh, by a successful artist named Constantine C. Huesmans. I may be pronouncing that wrong, I'm not sure. Uh, this is when his interest in art uh, peaked. By the age of 20, with the help of his uncle Sint, he was working for an art dealer. Um, bear with me, Goopel and Sai and The Hague. Vincent was very happy and um, he was also making a lot more money than his dad at this job. Many of his family members are quoted saying that this was the happiest years of his life. That is where he also found love. Uh, his landladies, where he lived, the person who owned the, the place, her daughter had Van Gogh's heart from the beginning. But when he, um, but when he told her about his secret adulation towards her, she shot him down, and he became very depressed about it and started questioning art as a whole as to why art makes him feel sort of ways and, you know, started thinking maybe it's sort of fake. Um, so later on down the line of his life, after jumping around jobs and schools and women, he landed in uh, uh, the town of Etten, living with his parents and continued drawing, actually. After becoming close to a family member named Key, his cousin, he spent many hours with her. Uh, he actually ended up trying to propose to her, uh, but she shut him down in a non-friendly way. She was quoted saying, uh, no, no way, never, actually. And, uh, and then she left town. Uh, furious about this, uh, later, a couple months down the line, he actually sent a letter to her mom, his aunt, with a very colorful vocabulary about the daughter Key, and it wasn't a friendly letter. Um, he ended up moving along different, uh, different places and everything, moved out of his parents' house again, um, to Paris, uh, where his work started to become more known and attractive to the art community. He worked closely with Impressionist works in Paris at the time. Uh, he made his name there working with a famous guy named Signac. They were, uh, sort of partners in crime, if you may. Uh, finally Van Gogh moved to Arles, uh, hoping for a safe and healthy place, because while all this was happening... He developed a drinking problem, and along with a smoking problem. Uh, everyone's quote, a lot of people are quoted saying he had a bad smoker's cough. After Van Gogh died, they had talked a uh, talked to a lady that used to work at a shop owned by his uncle, and that he would go in and buy art supplies from. Uh, she described him as very ugly, smelly, impolite, dirty, and uh, you know, uh, describing a homeless person pretty much. 
Uh, Van Gogh suffered from what we call nowadays writer's block. Uh, he was having hallucination and uh, fits of despair. Uh, a few months later, after uh, realizing he had a serious problem, he decided to um, the only thing to do was to commit suicide, and he shot himself in the chest. Now, there are many different thoughts and theories as to what and why he did it. Uh, some think he shot himself in the field that inspired him as a later artist in his life. Others think it was near a barn at the end nearby. What actually happened is he shot himself in the chest, and it went past his ribs and it didn't hit any organs so he didn't die so he ended up taking himself to the doctors well the hospital and uh, two physicians cared for him but there was no surgeon on stand so they couldn't really take the bullet out so um they had to wait for a surgeon for a while actually and in that time his brother theo or his dad theo and his brother vincent showed up at the hospital and um noted saying that he looked very healthy and very fine so um, it ended up him dying later from infections since the bullet couldn't be taken out. He ended up dying from infections. Um, there's much debate over the years about his illness and if it had an effect on his work. Uh, so many different diagnoses from psychiatrists and uh, psychiatrics and doctors, uh, ranging from schizophrenia to syphilis to diabetes to epilepsy. Uh, to this day, doctors and psychiatrists don't know. Um, Vincent Van Gogh, uh, he, str he would strive to make sure his emotional and spiritual uh, state in each, um, in each of his artworks was portrayed. And that's why, he's so, that's why he's so well known. He actually only sold one painting while he was alive. Um, Van Gogh's dedication to the inner spirituality of man and uh, nature led to like a good style and content resulting in a lot of people liking him. He was very relatable. Um, his, it, people related to him so much that because he was so um, mentally unstable and he was still so successful as a painter and in life uh, being both a pastor and uh, an artist um, and that's why he is the why he's a very very famous painter and drawer to this day thank you